Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Show It Better. And in today's video, we are going to take a deeper look at some of the awesome features in the new Lumion 9. And in this case, we're going to take a look at the precipitation effect, which has rain and snow, and we're going to create these awesome images. So let's get started. <laughs> Okay everyone, so we are going to take a special look at the rain and precipitation effect. This is a new effect of Lumion 9. So I think that's imp it's important that er all of you guys know that this is a feature that's uh, available in Lumion 9 Pro. It's called Atmospheric Rain and Snow. And I think this is a really, really interesting effect um because it you know it has a lot of possibilities to it so let's take a look at it right so this is a scene this is an urban scene i had uh, from an urban project i worked in uh, a while ago well not so much ago but a while ago i modified it just a bit um because of you know confidentiality purposes etc etc et so the atmospheric rain and snow are available in uh, either the photo mode or the movie mode right so if we go to for example photo we let's create a new scene so I'm just going to store a camera over here and let's select a custom style over here so let's say uh, for example daytime scenes fine and now let's let's add a realistic sky before right so this is one of the new features again of, uh, of Lumion 9 and the sky I like a lot is cloudy too because it has like a very very dramatic dramatic sky and we are going to go to over here we're going to go where it says add effect and we're going to go to precipitation now as you guys may see if we get a little bit closer in the camera uh, like the floors are a little bit wet uh, it seems like it's raining or like it was raining so here in the precipitation tab, you guys have, uh, you know, different options. The first one is rain or snow. So you have to decide uh, if you, you know, select over here, it's going to be rain. And and the more you drag it to the to the right, it's going to get very, very snowy in here, right? So this looks pretty cool. Now we can select the precipitation phase. So remember, uh, we can select if it's just starting or if it's you know in the middle of a storm or if it's you know also endings right so here we can say that's in the, like it's in the middle then we can you know gradually take uh you know the snow or the rain off we can also uh modify the the quantity of particles that there is so if it's like a very intense i don't know like snowstorm we can select over here and let's you know tilt the camera a little bit upwards let's go down just a little bit and you guys can see here you guys can see the quarrel the particle quantities if we go to rain it's like if we were in a big storm you call you can also modify the particle size so very big size very small size and if you don't want it to rain but just seem like it just rained you can just put the particles quantity in zero also there's an option that says block by plants so if we go to for example let's say let's go to a tree over here so as you guys can see if i you know have the block by plants feature you know all the way up it see it says you know like the the, the plants blocked the snow or the rain and if i have it all the way down well it means you know totally the, the opposite right so it just snowed or rained you know in spite of the plants being there and we can also add extra fog we can add no fog so as you guys can see it looks very very cool now i'm just going to export an image i have one here set up already in the snow part and as you guys can see i have the precipitation a little bit of fog and i have a tilt shift uh, option where I can, you know, just make it a little bit, you know, like Christmassy. It looks very nice. So now we're going to export these two scenes. We're going to go to render photos. Oh, 
Okay guys, so uh, so the image is just finished rendering. As you guys can see, this, well, for example, this snow image looks pretty, pretty cool. Uh, there's, you know, it's it's not like perfect snow, but it's snow that, you know, is, is in a certain phase where some of the, of the ground is, you know, is not all covered by snow as well as, uh, you know, uh, the buildings over here. And it just looks very, very cool. It looks very credible. It doesn't look, you know, too rendery. And I like this image a lot. And in this image, well, we couldn't see the rain a lot, but we could see that, you know, that post rain effect. Uh, let's see if we can export another image so we can see the effects of the rain in uh, Lumion 9. Okay, so to create this second image, uh, you know, the main effects that we use were the real skies. I used a, a cloudy sky, you know, to look to make it look like uh, it was something like after the storm that, that the sun comes out. And in this precipitation effect, one, uh, one, one handle that I liked, I liked a lot was the extra fog. It just gives it a very nice fog that is, is, is in tune with uh with the sky that you have on right and also i use the tilt shift effect that i like to use it for urban scenes well you know it just gives it a sense of, of scale to the project and i i rotated the real sky um so the sun could be on the other side of the camera and what we would see would be you know like a very cloudy sky so I think the result was a very, very cool image. I like this image a lot. I think uh, for this, you have to have a really nice detailed model. Well, I modeled this, we modeled this with City Engine and um, we imported it into Lumion, but I think it really had a really nice effect. And I think the real skies effect and the precipitation effect really helps a lot, a lot with these images. I hope you guys liked this video. Uh, in our next videos, we are going to see more of these special effects that Lumion 9 released, like the real skies effect, the 3D grass, um, and more more of these effects because I think uh, it's important that we, we see each of these effects one by one and see how you guys can create awesome images with the new Lumion 9. Uh, pro program all right so hope you guys enjoyed this video remember to like and subscribe and share this with any of your friends or colleagues so i'll see you in the next video bye